Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. So, um, I just wanted to say I apologize because I thought this look was gonna be different than every other look that I've done because I was following a picture that I found on Instagram and I will link the person that I was copying in the bottom bar, but after I finished, I noticed that it looks a lot like the other looks that I've done on my channel. This title, the title of this video should really be, um, how to use every single eyeshadow in one palette. You know how that's been going around, I should have done that because I think I've used every single one of the Modern Renaissance shades, or I could have. Um, anyway, I did do a little bit um, of different things like on my face and like my eyeliner, and um, because of that, my eye is a little red because I never tight lined my eye, and now it's a little red if you can see. Um, so I advise if anyone's copying this, be careful. If you're used to tight lining your um, eyeliner, fine, go ahead. But if you're not, this might happen. I don't know what's going on. I really hope it goes away. Well, anyway, uh, I just wanted to show you guys the picture of what I was copying. I had it up here a second ago, and now it's gone. All right. So this is the picture that I was copying. Um, it's not exactly the same, but you know, I tried my best. I really did. Um, but anyway, if you guys wanna know how I got this look, just keep on watching. Thank you so much for watching and don't forget to like this video if you like this video and subscribe to my channel. Thank you so much and I hope everyone's having a great day. Bye. Okay, so I'm gonna start by toning my face and I'm using my Clinique Clarifying Toner to do so. And now I'm gonna be moisturizing and I'm using my Neutrogena Oil Free Moisture. And now I'm going to be priming my face and I'm using my OC8 Mattifying Professional Primer Gel, or whatever you wanna call it. <laughs> And now I'm going to be applying foundation. I'm using my Fenty Beauty foundation and I am in the shade 190. I'm going to be picking it up with my Real Techniques Beauty Sponge. I usually pump about two pumps of this on the back of my hand and then pick it up with my beauty sponge and just start buffing it in. I know the foundation looks a little bit funky at first, but once it tries, it looks really good. And after, I'm going to be taking my NYX multi-purpose brush just to buff in all the leftover foundation all right so now i'm just showing you guys a picture of my inspiration for this look all right so now i'm going to be taking some of this Too faced prep and prime chisels and powder and placing that on the creases of my eyes so i can make sure i have no fallout from all the eyeshadows that i'm going to be using today okay so now i'm going to be dipping into my modern renaissance palette I am taking the shade Golden Ochre with my Sigma E38 blending brush and I'm just going to be using this as a transition shade in wind-tilt wipe motions all the way from the inner corner to my of my eye all the way to the outer corner where that tape is. And I'm just going to be building up all these colors together because I want to create the orange, the purple, and the gold look. All right, so after that, with that same Sigma E38 brush, I'm gonna be dipping into the shade Burnt Orange from that Modern Renaissance palette. And I'm just gonna be doing the same thing, just dipping it, dipping it up a little bit. As you can see, it kinda makes it a little bit darker on the outer edges of the eye. And then I'm just gonna be picking up another brush to buff it out, and that is my Sigma E39 brush. And with that brush, little by little, I just buff out the outer corners just to make sure everything's blended in and everything's very even. I am going to be using a lot of brushes in this video. I'm just going to be making sure that all the eyeshadows are just blended seamlessly. Alright, so now I'm going to be picking up my E71 Sigma brush and I'm just going to be buffing out the outer corners of my eye. Um, where it's more close to my brow bone just so that is more diffused than the rest of my eyelid all right so for the second shade 
of my Modern Renaissance palette, I'm going to go in with the shade Railgar and I'm just going to be picking up that same Sigma E38 brush right where I put those two orangey copper collars in the beginning of the video and I'm just going to be placing that on my lid and moving to wiper motions once again all the way to the outer corner where the tape that I have placed by my eyelid ends. So after that, I'm just going to be dipping in my Modern Renaissance palette little by little and I just want to make the orange shades thinned out because in the picture that I was copying, it was orange and then it went to purple and then it went to gold. So to make the orange shades a little bit more intense, I'm going to be picking up the shade Saturn from the Prism palette. This is also by Anastasia Beverly Hills. And I'm just going to be placing that right on top of the other orange copper colors that I was working with beforehand. And I'm still going to be blending in my eyeshadows with a clean blending brush and the Sigma E38. Just so everything just blends in the way I want it to. And then I'm going to be diffusing the outer edges of my eye with my Sigma E71. I don't know if you guys can tell, but this brush really, really does help when I'm trying to create a um, ombre look. I keep picking it up just to make sure it's not too harsh. Alright, so now I'm going to be picking up my Modern Renaissance palette, and I'm going to go in with the shade Bon Fresco with my Sigma E38. And I'm just going to be placing that right beneath the orange colors that I have placed beforehand, because, again, I want to make this ombre effect that comes from orange to purple. So I'm just gonna be picking up Bon Fresco little by little as kind of a transition shade for the next color that I'm going to be placing on my eyelid. Okay, so picking up my Sigma E38 brush once again, I'm going to be going in with a purple shade from the Modern Renaissance palette and I'm going to be using love letter and i'm just going to be placing that on the outer corner of my eye but making sure that i do not touch all that orange color shade range that i've been working so hard on because i still want that to poke through but then make its way over to the purple smoky eye that i'm trying to achieve so i'm just going to be picking up love letter little by little until i have my desired smoky eye that i'm going for Okay, so now I'm going to be cutting my crease, and today I'm going to be using my Kat Von D Locket Concealer, and then I'm just going to be picking that up with a little diesel brush from the back of my hand, and then I'm just going to be cutting my crease, being very careful to create that perfect halo line. And I forgot to set my crease, but I guess I just went in with the shade Pyramid from the Prism palette and I wet my brush before I did this. I wet, wet my brush be with um, MAC Fix Plus before I went in the sh with the shimmer shade on the crease of my eye. I decided to go with Pyramid because it looked like the eyeshadow shade in the picture. It's a very true gold. And now I'm going to pick up a little bit more of Love Letter and I'm just going to be placing that on the outer corners of my eye just so it blends into the gold that I added on the crease so it creates more of a smoky effect and I'm just gonna be blending and blending and blending until I have my desired um, look that I want to achieve I just keep looking at the picture just to make sure that I'm doing this right um, and yeah you know, when you want to recreate a look, I just suggest that you're very patient and you really look at what um, eyeshadows and colors that the person used. It shouldn't be that hard. I mean, I don't think it is. I just think if you just practice blending, it's just makeup. At the end of the day, like, have fun with it. And if you don't like what you came up with, just take it off. That's what I always say. Even though I do get frustrated when my makeup does not turn out the way I want it to. And that's why I'm always blending. Blending till I die. <laughs> anyway, I'm just going to be diffusing the outer corners of my eye here.
Okay, so now I'm going to be doing some concealing and today I'm going to be using the IT Cosmetics Bye Bye Under Eye and I'm just going to be placing that on the back of my hand and picking it up with my Real Techniques Beauty Sponge and also cleaning up the outer edges that weren't really that even from the pieces of tape that I have on my face that I took off um, just so I can clean up everything to have a sharper line now I'm going to be doing some eyeliner and I just wanted to show you guys how I do my eyeliner. I draw a line first and then I follow the line down like so. I really don't know how to explain it so I figured I'd show you. And then after I outline the wing that I want, I just fill it in. And to be honest, this eyeliner makes life so much easier. So just make sure that both of your wings are even. Sometimes mine aren't even, but sometimes you can't tell because I'm wearing lashes or sometimes it's just such a minor little mistake that nobody really notices. And now I'm going to be taking my Urban Decay eyeliner and I'm going to be tight lining my waterline so I can apply falsies after. I haven't done this in so long. I think the last time I did it was in high school. Okay, so now I'm going to be picking up more of my Too Faced Prep and Prime. And I'm just going to be setting the parts of my face where I usually get oily, which is my T-zone. And then I'm going to be doing some bronzer. And I broke it. But it still works. So I'm picking up this e.l.f. contour brush and I'm going to be picking up my bronzer and just placing that by my nose and the outer points of my face just to make it appear slimmer. Now I'm going to be doing some highlighting. I'm using my Milk Cosmetics highlighting stick and there's no shade so I guess it's just called a highlighting stick and I'm just going to be blending that in with my Real Techniques Beauty Sponge. And I'm going to go in to my ABH Sunday palette and I'm going to be picking up the shade Summer with my beauty sponge and placing that right on top where I placed that Milk Cosmetics highlighting stick. I really like the technique of putting highlighter on with a sponge. I feel like it works a lot better than a brush. And then I'm going to be taking a Tarte blush, Amazonian clay blush in the shade Party and I'm be picking up that elf brush and just going along the lines of where my highlighter and my bronzer are. And then I'm going to be blending all of my face makeup in with my beauty sponge. Okay, so now I'm going to be picking up this ABH Matte Liquid Lipstick in the shade Soft Lilac. I just noticed that I used a lot of ABH products in this video. And now I'm going to be picking up the Gloss Bomb by Fenty Beauty because I do not want a matte finish. And now I'm going to be setting my face with some MAC Fix Plus. And now I'm going to be straightening my hair. And that is the completed look. Thank you so much for watching and please let me know if you guys like this video. And if you guys want to see more videos like this, if you have any ideas for looks that you want me to do in the future, please leave them in the comments down below. Thank you so much for watching and don't forget to subscribe to my channel if you like this video and give it a thumbs up. I hope everyone's having a great day. Bye!